let's look at what Mike Todd said that he, he, he wanted to do when it came to this Easter service. Now I want you to notice something here when they're doing this scene. Who's hanging on this cross back here? Now here is where I want to talk about what nobody else is talking about. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. Now chances are you've seen or heard about Mike Todd's Transformation Church Easter service. And chances are you're just ready for Jesus to return now. Please come back. Now there's something I wanna do in this video. I want to look at some of this footage from the Easter service and show you just how bad it really is. And I want to compare it to something, a, a very demonic celebration that went on earlier. And then I want to talk about something that nobody else is talking about when it comes to this Easter service. And I want to show you why this service completely, 100% contradicts Transformation's own statements. The Daily Grace Company is a wonderful company. They have Bible study guides, they have pens and highlighters, they have journals, they have prayer cards, verse cards, Bibles. If you use our link in the description below, it helps us out. Uh, it costs you nothing, but it will help us out. Hey, would you mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. So here's some of the footage here. Okay, you get the idea with the sound. I can't play all the sound. Some of it is... Uh, music that will get me copyrighted. So I want to just look at a few key moments that really uh, are, are the biggest issues to take away from this Easter service. Well, really the biggest issue is that this Easter service exists at all. This is completely a fly in the face of the gospel, Christians, Christianity, the church, everything. And this really just proves this is a, a nail in the coffin of Transformation Church's credibility. Now, me personally, Transformation Church never had any credibility at all, but the very fact that they are called Christians, that they're called a church, a lot of people, a lot of Christians like to blind themselves to a lot of the issues going on within Transformation Church because they're Christian. So you got these girls up on stage shaking their booties in very tight leather pants saying it's all about the booty. Now I understand what's going on here. Doesn't make it right. I don't care about any of the justification for this. When you look at the demonic imagery and then the women up here uh, literally in tight leather pants, shaking their booties, talking about their booties in, in front of the congregation. The Bible's become boring. So we have to put on these performances and push the limit a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. Let's look at what Mike Todd said that he, he, he wanted to do when it came to this Easter service. So I said, we're going to go to the edge on this. And they said, Pastor, how far on the edge are we going to go? I said, we're going to do everything short of sin. Oh, y'all, so I felt the religious people. Their booties got tight, right? There. Okay, so he wants to do everything short of sin. Now, where's that line in Mike Todd's head? He's talking about sin here as if there's just this, this visual line that everybody can see and as long as you stay back behind that line just a little bit you can put your tippy toes up to it but you just and you kind of dabble with that line there and everything's good that's not how any of this works and the fact that one of their goals is to just dabble with sin a little bit just get to the line but not actually go there go as far as we can how immature and honestly just pathetic 
is the mindset here, the heart behind this. And then he goes on to blame the religious people. If you have any problem with this whatsoever, then you're just a, a religious person with your butt cheeks peckered up. It, you're the real issue, not not me with the lack of sharing the gospel properly or holding this position of pastor properly. No, it's you. It's always going to be you for having any type of moral standard or biblical standard. <laughs> Now, I can't play the sound, but here we are. Yep. Happy Easter, everybody. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus, not me. Now, all this imagery looks eerily familiar. Wait a minute. I feel like I've seen this before. What? Oh, wait. You know what? Now, you can see here, obviously, I can't play the sound, but what are they doing? They're doing a satanic ritual. That's right. The Grammys, that literal satanic worship service. This, they're, it's the same thing. They're, they're doing the same thing. Only they're doing it under the guise of the Christian version of it. Now, I want you to notice something here when they're doing this scene. Who's hanging on this cross back here? A woman. They literally have a woman simulating being hung on a cross. What's one of the biggest things happening in our culture right now? The whole gender thing? Yeah, you know that? And you have prominent figures within our government praying to Mother God. You have Mike Todd himself saying that he wishes God made it simpler and that he wishes God would have just made a middle ground in that, you know, playing into all this gender ideology right now. God decided male and female. I, no, 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 I'm not, this is not a bad, I need y'all to hear my heart on this. This is not a bashing, this is not a, he, if I was there, maybe I would have told him, is there something in the middle you could do? Like kind of a, like a little maybe if somebody, well, I was born like this, I don't know how I feel, that I, I feel you. And I wish that there was an option of other in the kingdom. Well, why did that? I don't freaking know. I know, honestly, I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. Trans is in the title. Transformation, you can be here. And what they're doing here is they're mocking the crucifixion right in front of the flock, right in front of the church, right in front of you and right in front of me. In fact, this was so bad that Transformation Church, they removed the performance. There's no way to watch it anymore unless you go and you find snippets that people have done videos on. There was, there was no sin in what they did. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just short of sin. Why remove it? Now wait, hold on. Let's tie this back to something that Transformation Church has stated in their own cultural code on their website. Now here's where I want to talk about what nobody else is talking about. I want to tie this back to Transformation Church, their own cultural code. Look down here. First of all, I want to point this out. This church is all over the place, uh, doctrinally and biblically. They, they are not sound whatsoever. And again, I've pointed this out in other videos. There's more women pastors than there are men pastors. But I want you to check out the cultural code of Transformation Church. First of all, Transformation Church says they are a relevant and progressive church that changes lives. That, yeah, they do change lives. Doesn't mean it's for the better. And if you notice this progressive church mantra, that's not an accident. They don't. They, they, this isn't just to say that they're a church that is progressing. No, they're meaning this in the leftward sense, the liberal sense. They are a progressive church, and, and they love to admit that. But when you come down here, 
you can also see that they're a hot church. They are self-admittingly humble, which is always a sign of being humble, open and transparent people of integrity. What was humble or where was the integrity in that Easter service? They claim to be a church of excellence, which they describe as being, we hold ourselves to a very high standard in our words, appearance, and actions. Did they hold themselves to a high standard? And what is that high standard? It's obviously not a biblical standard. It's obviously a standard that goes higher than the Bible. And I don't mean higher than the Bible in the sense that it's better than the Bible. I mean in the progressive (laughs) sense that the world is trying to say that we've elevated past the Bible. Our standard today is higher than the Bible and our standard includes, I, I don't know, Easter services that completely mock God and show women shaking their booty and tight leather pants in a church service that's supposed to be about the gospel message, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our standards are so progressive and so lofty and so high and we are so humble that we can show and do whatever we want and we can even play with sin. And if you want to check out why you should stay away from Mike Todd, I did a couple videos. One of them is this famous church just showed how dangerous it is. And Carl Lentz is back in ministry with Mike Todd at Transformation Church. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And also, please hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.